Hi everyone, this is Conzel here. So I wanted to do a quick update regarding the Kesakiri slashes per second for Ito. This is like a Ito math guide 1.1, <laughs> kind of like a patch 1.1 kind of thing, yeah. Uh, but essentially it's going to be a quick one where I just talk about with the Kesakiri slashes, what will be the updated figures, etc. And I'll briefly talk about content creation moving forward as well, some ideas that I have. Okay. So first off, thanks to one of the viewers, kind of for sharing the Kesa animation. I did a frame analysis on it, and effectively it's about 2.1 to 2.2 attacks per second. After averaging out the initial three attacks, will be up 30% at that speed, which means that the after the 30% speed is actually sli slightly faster than this, but on average it's about this in terms of the entire amount before the Kesa Giri final slash. So for ease of reference, right, for my future Ito videos, I will use the two attacks per second figures from now on. Except for C6 where we will just simply use 7 seconds for the 15 slashes instead of 7.5. Since the additional 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 attacks per second really only comes into play when you can deal that many slashes, which is C6. So all in all, it effectively translates to an additional normal attack for C6 before his burst ends in my math. So the figures will all be slightly higher uh, for the two Kesagiri slashes per second. Coincidentally, 15 Kesa slashes was also the figure I came to for C6 before watching the animation. So I'm, gonna, I'm just really happy that uh, I managed to get it right based on, just based on the math, even before looking at the animation. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyway, self-appreciating jokes aside, right? With this in mind, here is the updated summary slash TLDR. So, combos. So, the combo to perform in the 11 seconds of bursts for 2 Kesagiri slashes per second, not 3, because in my math guide 1, I talk about 3. So, in this update here, we'll talk about 2 Kesa slashes per second, Zhongli's uh, effect not stacking. If Zhongli effect stacks, then it will be different. We will actually have a problem where we cannot finish our Kesagiri slashes stacks in time. At least that's for C6. C0, C1, you wouldn't have this issue. But we will. I will talk more about that when Ito is out and we see when we see whether it really does stack. I really don't think that it would, but yeah. Okay, so C zero, the initial setup before the Kesa final is always the same. This is also the same as per what we did for the three Kesa Giri slashes per second. A difference is that because the Kesa Giri slashes take a longer time to execute, two versus three per second you effectively only have a very small window left to do the remaining DPS. So for C0, you will be able to do an N2, 1 Kesa and 1 Kesa Finder. Likewise for C1, N2, 1 Kesa, 1 Kesa Finder. For C6, you only have N1. But don't be deceived by this because the overall output of C6 is still higher because you are dishing out a lot more Kesa slashes before that. Okay. Kesa slash will, slashes will or Kesagiri slashes will always do more damage than the normal attacks. More or less. Other than the uh, fourth hit, for example. So this is the combo to perform. Okay. Now this is the compila compilation of the figures based on two Kesa, Zhongli not stacking. I've already uh, I've actually included two additional columns here, which is Goro, CZ. I, I want to say C0 Goro, but I think C2 Plus is better because with C2 you are able to extend his burst duration to match Ito's. Okay? Preferably C2, but C0, between C0 and C2, you can achieve these figures. Except for C0, maybe at the end of the combo, nearest near to the end of the combo, you are losing the Goro bonuses. So, yeah, for these figures, I'll say C2 Goro. C6 Goro is here. Okay? So likewise, uh, if you see C2 plus Goro only is about 28.3% buff, C6 Goro gives you about 39.7, okay? A additional about 11 to 12%, which is still quite significant. And since Goro, if the whatever we know now is true, or turns out to be true, Goro will be on Ito's banner. So getting a C2 Goro is achievable unless you are really unlucky. In the end, it's still RNG, so yeah, it's gacha luck. 
Okay, so the difference of a C2 Goro with dual resonance uh, is about six. The buff that it gives us is about sixty-two percent. C6 is about seventy-six. Okay, because like I said, I've already said this in the previous video, but because of the resistance shred from dual resonance, it increases the effect of each of these buff. Okay, so this is the figures based on two Kesagiri slashes only not stacking. Now you might look at these two figures and feel that C0 and C6 is not that big of a difference. But you got to bear in mind that my figures here are crit damage figures. Crit rate is not factored in. So if I want to factor crit rate in, this is how it will look like. Okay. I did not want to include crit rate initially because it will make the figures... How should I put it? People, people will find it harder to appreciate me telling them, uh, okay, I, you can do 600k damage, for example, just an example, you can do 600k damage in 11 seconds. It's very hard for them to appreciate how many of it is actually a crit hit, how many is not. That's why I wanted to do just the crit damage figure so that people have it in mind, you divide it, and this is the type of figures that you're dealing if you crit. Okay, but for the purpose of comparison, if I include crit rate for C0 and C1, C6 is going to be 100% crit rate. The difference between C1 and C6 is then 63%. C0 versus C1 obviously still the same, 10%, because both of them will apply crit rate. Okay? So, this is how the figures look like for 2k Sagiri slashes per second. Effectively, the best figure that you can achieve with a C6 Goro and C6 Ito with an R5 signature weapon is 1.17 million. Uh, it's higher than the 1.41. 1.14 million that I mentioned previously because we included an additional normal attack based on what we know now from the Kesa animation. So, is Ito still OPF even with 2 Kesa per second? My answer is yes. Because as per the, my analysis in Mavcard 1, even with 2 Kesa per second, he is matching C6 R5 full tower with constant vaporize with a fully stacked full team C6 R5 supports. Okay, uh, with a Kazuza in here, you may not need. Let me think about it. If you want to achieve 120k, you would need a R5 Freedom Zone. Okay, for uh, Kazuha, you don't need C6 for Kazuha for the 120k, probably just C2 for the EM buff. But you get where I'm coming from, it's really a fully stat full team. For this, right, we are only factoring 3 Joe characters. I have not even factored in someone like Bennett who can buff. The fourth slot is very flexible for Ito. It's whether you want to have a sub DPS to constantly prop the crystallize with Ito, sorry, with a uh, Go Rose burst, or whether you want to just have a buffer, pure buffer for Ito, like Bandit here. But you also need to bear in mind in terms of the shield, you need to make sure that you have any sufficient shields. Which is usually doable because other than your own elements from your own team, there are elemental attacks from opponents. Those with those are those can help to generate the crystallize when you're using geo attacks as well. Okay, I mean I'm I'm in a full geo team. I have played full geo teams before. Four geo characters, I'm still able to get crystallize shields very consistently. Honestly speaking. Obviously, it depends on the, the enemies, but most enemies will still be able to get, help you generate the crystallized shields. And also, because Ito has 100% CR consistently, at least at C4+, plus, he's really, 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 really OP, but oh, Hu Tao doesn't. Gan Yu doesn't. The same applies for Gan Yu, right? The owner, I would say the, the exact same thing here that I'm talking about applies for Gan Yu. The only area Gan Yu will be better in is in special boss challenges where there's like minus 100% ER because we have had those challenges before already. So in such conditions, right, Ito Gun get his burst up 100%. Then in those scenarios, Gun will be better. Okay, is that clear? Gun use main strength is other than a very nice DPS, though lower than Ito's, is still. The fact that she has no conditions with regards to her DPS, all she needs to do is just use her charge attack or her aim shot. That's it. ER buff, debuff doesn't affect her. Okay, cryo debuff affects her in the uh, boss challenges, but 
Those I don't want to talk about because either way you can get different kind of element on you. Whether it's Geo for Ito or Pyro for Hu Tao, you might get a minus 50% Pyro, for example. Okay? Or a 50% Pyro resistance. Alright. So this is the update that I have for you guys with regards to Ito. Okay. Moving forward, all my math videos will be using 2k cycle slashes per second and assuming that Zonli does not stack. Unless there's new information that comes comes forth uh, until Ito is released. Okay. Now the second thing I want to talk about is the content creation moving forward for myself. Basically, YouTube monetization is pretty bad for me because this reach is not big. Uh, I'm thinking of setting up Patreon with membership tiers and benefits like early access, Q and A, account reviews, or even exclusive videos. So I just wanted to see if you guys would be interested in that in terms of being a patron. Uh, the rates will be the same as what you see usually on Patreon where it's like $2 per month, $3 per month, $5 per month, that type of number. Um, maybe even higher tier. I, I have not really worked out the structure. I just want to see the interest level first. It's kind of like what you see on Twitch. If you do a subscription for Twitch, the only difference is that I'm using, I want to use Patreon for this. I can use Twitch as well if there is a interest level in that. Because I my Twitch also I actually got the monetization criteria cleared for Twitch recently. Or rather two weeks before since I have not been done doing content creation for two weeks now. So I can actually set up set it is the set this are in Twitch as well. So let me know what you guys prefer. And the reason why I'm doing this, right? It's not because I'm greedy or, or I just want more money. It's because I want to eventually transition to full time on the content creation. But I kind of need the income to be at a sufficient level first, right? I can't drop my existing income just like that. So, I mean, just to share, right? What I get from YouTube is not even sufficient to get me one guaranteed five star character. Let's say if I start from zero PT. Okay, it's not enough. That's why I say it's pretty bad. Because the way YouTube works is very similar to Twitch. Where you see the big, I mean, I'm sure most people have heard of the Twitch leak, right? The payout leak. So the really big content creators get a much, much bigger portion of the pie. It's just the way it is. Okay. So, yep. This is what I wanted to talk about. First, uh, update on Ito as well, based on the Kesa Giri slash animation. As well as content creation moving forward. So let me know in the comments what you guys would prefer. You interest level, I'm also open to other ideas, maybe specific type of benefits that you want if that will attract you to become a patron or to subscribe with costs involved like on Twitch rather than like YouTube. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next video. And oh right, the math guide 2 will be Serpent Spine versus White Blind versus uh, his signature weapon. The main issue I have now is White Blind is also based on stacks so the triple stacking is making it complicated in the combo so I need some time to sort that out make sure that everything is correct then I can do the math properly for white blind at least for serpent spine it's going to be very straightforward we're just going to assume 5 stacks and 0 stacks or maybe 1 stack 1 stack and 5 stacks because most people when they use serpent spine they would wait until you get 4 5 full stacks before they start whatever challenges it is that they are doing okay so that's the reason why I don't want to complicate my life further by trying to factor in the different type of stacks uh, during the combo for Serpent Spine. Right? Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next video. If you like the content, remember the video and click subscribe for more. Bye!